easy. Okay, so I've got another circuit on the attempt to build and hopefully I'll get it working. This is a 60 watt amplifier and it comes from Talking Electronics and there's one notable difference on the pre-amplifier side of the circuit. There's a circuit here and it's called a, a long tail pair. Now what makes this pretty good is that the uh, um, is it amplifies the difference between the voltages of input 1 and input 2. No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm trying to read off, a, off the screen. <laughs> oh, start again. Um, one of the advantages of using a circuit like this with this, this part in here, which is called a long tail pair, is um, that it doesn't pick up any noise from the power supply, which makes it ideal as a preamplifier. Uh, and that's um, and that's why it's been used in this particular circuit. Of course, I haven't designed the circuit or anything. Like I said, it comes from talking electronics there, look. So that's what we're going to build. That is what we're going to try and build. Now, this is just one channel. I've got my components pretty much ready. I was just waiting for these to come in, and they came in today. So I'm quite chuffed about that. This is a um, BD139 and a BD140. And I've got the power transistors for the outputs here. And I say um, 2N3055 and a 2N2955, I think it is. Uh, 2955, yeah. And that's going to go there. So I'm going to build it onto the board. Um, so I've got to get it right first time, really, otherwise it's going to get messy. And then if it works, nice. Oh, because it's discrete, you know, there's no um, like LM, whatever. 1875 chip or anything like that because it's discrete I'll, uh, I'll build up the other board to have like, you know just the two mono sides mono blocks as some could say so let me give it a go and when I've got most of it on there I'll come back and show you how far I've got and we'll see what it's like when it's all together okay so well there's the circuit near enough ready to go there's the two transistors that should be on a heat sink but we're not going to put any real power through this we're not going to be trying to drive it um, anywhere near the 30 watts it's just going to be see if we get signal out the end and if it doesn't sound too terribly hideous the power supply side is coming from this even though just at this minute in time there seems to be a little bit of a mistake somewhere and I've just got to fault find and find where that is but it's going to be a gradual turn on I'm going to use the um, the auto transformer there through the isolation transformer of course which will maximum give me um, 24 volts well I could actually over voltage this to 270 volts basically but of course I won't and then we're going for the bridge rectifier as you can see it's in the center of the picture there we've got some big old bulk capacitance uh, I'm using those just because it's what I've got uh, I did notice when I checked in here the other two capacitors that I have in here for the split rail supply were 25 volts and of course I need I need um, there they are the 25 volt ones there I need 35 volts for this uh, with some overhead so they're 80 volts and those smaller ones there are 50 volts so it should be okay and then when, as soon as I get that power working from there properly I'll connect up here Okay, right, I know it looks a mess, and it is organised in there, I promise you. It's um, what we got is we got, I got a little reduction, it's supposed to be 35 volts, 35 volts, right? Positive, negative, 35 volts on this. But I've got it set so it's 25 volts, just so we don't blow the crap out of anything too quickly. And so, and then I've got that, you know, going into the old transformer, which now I know works because of the fuses thing. If you don't understand what I mean about the fuses thing, there will probably be a rant video going up soon. And if there isn't, basically, I bought a whole bunch of fuses off eBay and they just kept blowing. And so I had to keep taking everything apart, thinking, oh, no, everything's just keep blowing, what's shorted, what's going on? Turns out it's the fuses. So, and this is all in the last sort of half an hour, but it's been going on for the last couple of hours before that. We're going to hit the voltage on it. And of course we want that nice, lovely sound of. Beautiful. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's what we're after. So I'm going to give it a sound source now and we're going to see if we actually get audible music out of it. Because just getting that shows us that we got amplification and it doesn't sound terribly bad. It sounds quite sort of bassy, doesn't it, as well? And this 22k capacitor, which is supposed to be um, 20, probably might need some variation on it. I've put it right to the middle. So it should be around back 11k up as it sits for the um, slide the bias in between those two transistors here. And yeah, and my only grounds look, as you can see, I've just brought them straight into this one area so it doesn't actually go around the board or anything. Kept them uh, away from the board as much as I can. Um, let's just go to, let's see, let's, let's put some uh, an audio source onto it. And we'll see what we get. Hey guys, right, this is what I've got so far with this. Okay, but I'm pretty sure that this 20k is supposed to make a difference, but it doesn't. Now, I've always struggled when it comes to the connecting these up. Let me just take it out because you've heard that, and I'll disconnect the power. I've always struggled when it comes to connecting these up because it, they can look a bit weird sometimes, you know. they, they they sort of show it as three connectors, but you're really, really connecting two. And on this one, I don't quite know how it's supposed to go. From that, it looks like one side of the resistor connects here to the base there and to the collector on here. And then this side of the resistor connects here, which would lead in onto the emitter and coming down to the base of this transistor. Well, that would mean it's just a straight 20K, right? But then the variation, the wiper, is on the base of this transistor. But as you can tell, even turning it, it doesn't make any difference. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that's where I'm supposed to be like tuning this in a bit. Can you help me? Is that the way it's really supposed to be connected? Or is it one of those ones where one lead really shouldn't be there? You're really supposed to be using, like, you know, from one side to the wiper. So you either go from zero to full resistance or from full to zero resistance depending on which way you connect these not that clear for me it's probably clear for all those that know but if you don't know like anything else not very clear and i could give quite a few examples of that but i'm, I'm not going to bother because it doesn't really seem worth it i think you can all guess that if you don't understand how something works it's not that clear so any feedback for this would be great, because it would be great to get this little thing going, because like I said before, I intend on building another channel, if I can get it sorted out. I've got it to this far. Uh, I would experiment, but I'm just scared of blowing everything up. But as this is probably a long video anyway, maybe it's time to split it into two halves. So... Any ideas, please? Leave them in the comments. Thank you. Bye.